This week on Science Sensei. <clears throat> Sorry, I was up all night playing trophy bass combat again. Researchers at Stanford University have discovered that fish can have sleeping disorders just like you and me. Of course I got a sleeping disorder. I can't close my f***ing eyes. But since fish have no eyelids, how do you know if they can sleep at all? Researcher Tohei Yokogawa pulled a few all-nighters himself observing fish. He noticed periods of inactivity where the fish drooped their tail fin and floated motionlessly near the top or bottom of the tank. Figuring that this was their version of sleep, he wanted to see what would happen if he deprived them of it. When tapping on the glass and using speakers didn't keep them awake, he found that regular, quote, gentle electric shocks did the trick. Damn it! Quit shocking me, you f After six hours of nighttime sleep deprivation, Yokogawa found that the fish, much like people, made up for lost sleep the following night. How do you like that? Next, Yokogawa studied zebrafish with the same genetic mutation that causes narcolepsy in dogs and people. That's a condition marked by sleepiness <clears throat> throughout the day and sometimes even... <laughs> Surprisingly, the fish did not show signs of narcolepsy, but rather appeared to be insomniacs. Overall, these fish slept 30% less than normal fish during the night. And when they finally did drift off, they stayed asleep for only half as long. The researchers don't know why the gene affects fish so differently than it does dogs and people, but the fact that fish can have sleep disorders and that they can sleep at all gives researchers a new animal model for studying sleep. Zebrafish are much cheaper and easier to work with than mice, but their sleeping behaviors are more like a person than, say, a fruit fly. Great, now I'll never get any shut eye. For Science Central News, I'm your science sensei. Yeah, nothing fishy. Oh man, you're just cold blooded.